Hi everyone, this is Megan with Colin Sisters Trio. I just got back from Tuacon, which is a professional theater out in Ivan, Utah. It is an amphitheater. I'm trying to find these keys. I'm not doing that. Anyway, it is an amphitheater. So it is outdoors and it is very hot. It was for us about 93 degrees the whole time. Even after dark. Yep, yeah, super hot. But it is a professional theater and it is amazing. Yeah. I loved the Hunchback of Notre Dame, which they did there. It was such a good show. I like it in any production. I really like the show. I like the cartoon. I like it's a good thing. I should maybe read the book. I don't know if I want to read the book. I've heard stuff about the book. Anyway, it was a great show. Loved it. I highly recommend seeing Hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, we got cheap tickets. They're about $29, I believe. We sat on the right side of the stage. Uh, this theater has sections on the side of it where the actors will perform. So we got to see a whole number right next to us, up close and personal. We saw the lady playing Esmeralda's uh, cap on her head for her wig. <laughs> That's how close we were. Um, the show runs until October 20th. So if you want to see that, you can go and see it then. Quasimodo is played by Justin Luciano. Uh, Chopin is saved by Steven Diaz. And Sean Thompson played Phoebus. He also played Clayton in Tarzan, which I talked about in a different video. Claude Frollo is played by Randall Keith. And Esmeralda by Sofia Marie Guerrero. I may have butchered her name, and I'm so sorry if I did. Um, great show. I really loved it. It is very different from the movie. I think it more closely follows the book, but I've never read the book, so I'm not positive on that. But yeah, great movie. Uh, great musical. I'm going to give a very spoilerful musical, so if you don't want to hear any more spoilers, then I suggest leaving now. So we weren't allowed to take videos or pictures, so that's why I'm just going to play Final Fantasy XV while I talk about it. I think it's more fun to watch people play video games than just to see them talking personally. But, it was a great show. It, um... Frollo, I'm just gonna say it now, he was the best part of the show. He was, wow, like, such a good actor. He did, an, all of them did amazing, but Frollo was just a standout. I, I was very impressed with Frollo. So good. Such a good singer, good actor, good everything. All, like, again, the whole cast was amazing. There was not a bad person in either this or Tarzan. They were just amazing. They are professionals, so you do expect that, but it was so, they were so good. Um, so it, they, it starts out with Frollo before Quasimodo, as always, but in this one, he has a brother, and his brother is actually Frollo's father. He dies from some disease. I don't remember what it was. Smallpox, maybe. Let's do this. Um, he, they end up, they, they uh, find me. refuge Give in Notre Dame. And... So they find refuge in Notre Dame. And... The brother is wild, and so he runs off being all crazy-like. And... Ends up with a gypsy, and they have a baby named Quasimodo, and he dies. So Frollo has to take care of Quasimodo. So there's one difference, is he's now Quasimodo's uncle, instead of just a random guy. But Quasimodo is still, of course, deformed. And I'll save the... They, it's really cool, they have him in the opening chorus. They have a bunch of people come out, all, like, all the actors are out in their gray hoods. And then he takes his off, and they put his costume on in front of us. It was really neat. Um, remember. So after that, it's they have you know one of the best songs. Like I love out there, beautiful, beautiful song, and he does an amazing job singing it. 
Um, and then they go down to the Feast of Fools, and Esmeralda comes on. And she walks on holding a live goat. I'm like, she's holding a goat. I told my husband, she's holding a goat. Like, I was like, just, I don't know why. It just, I was just, you know, I'm like, she's holding a goat. And then later, Phoebus comes on, and he's riding a horse. Like, a real horse. We're like, he's riding a horse. Phoebus is riding a horse. So, it shows them fall in love with Esmeralda. This one, Phoebus was pulled from the battlefront. Maybe he was in the cartoon, too. I guess it's cold. Uh, front is freezing. Anyway, maybe it was in the cartoon as well. I don't remember. But he talks about how upsetting it was to be... Like, he wanted the promote. He called this a promotion. So he wanted to be away from all the death that he kept seeing. But he says right from the start that he is not a good guy. Like, he's not a morally clean guy. But everyone keeps thinking he's this moral guy, but he's like, yeah, I'm not. Anyway. So, Quasimodo, Frollo, Phoebus, they all fall in love with Esmeralda. And sure. that's the same as the movie, but Esmeralda doesn't go seeking sanctuary in, like, in the movie. Uh, this one, you know, they still are mean to Quasimodo, they still torment him and pull him up on stage, they throw fruit at him, everything, all that happens, like in the movie. But Esmeralda goes into the cathedral to find him, to make sure he's okay. And there she runs into Frollo, and Frollo like sees her as, oh hey, cool, this little, really pretty lady is here, maybe I can change her from being a gypsy to following my ways. Um, and then she sings God Help the Outcast, which she does amazing at. I love that song. Hunchback has so many brilliant songs in it. Um, she goes, she meets Quasimodo, they sing a song called On Top of the World another great song like this musical songs are just so good I've never made it to Broadway which is a shame because their songs are just amazing um so after that she leaves the cathedral she meets Phoebus in the cathedral and Frollo and she gets kicked out of the cathedral escorted out um they Frollo is obsessed with finding her now, and he wanders into the shady part of town where he finds her and Phoebus, and this part is not for children. Tarzan, take children too. It's fine. This one, do not take children too. It's, it would probably be rated PG-13 if it was a movie. Probably just for this scene. Well, there's a lot of reasons. Uh, the cartoon, I don't know why, how a Hunchback cartoon got away with a PG rating. But yeah, so this is not a kid's show. Like, 10 and up, at least, in my opinion. If you want to take your children, you can, but... It is not very... It's not a family show. Um, so... Yeah, they find him, and then he sings... Hellfire. I mean, that like, that is the what song is that I think everyone right? was like... Okay... He, he's the real main character. He's really why we're here is for this song. Uh, he was so good. He sang bass. Frollo did. Uh, it was a beautiful bass part. He did such a good job. Um, very impressive. We have him singing that. And then uh, I went to the bathroom. I thought it was. I couldn't remember exactly when animation hit. I knew it was close to it, but I was... I guess it's a little wrong, but... I was walking up the stairs hearing this jingling sound. And I look at the stage, and there's a horse-drawn carriage on stage. I'm just like... What? They brought horses on the stage? It was so impressive. Okay, the little things impress me, okay? But... Oh, it was so cool. And the guy who played Turk played the king. They bring the king in this. I don't know if he's in the book or not. Like I said, I've never read it. But the king gets permission for them to find and kill Esmeralda. And he probably goes crazy, burns down the city. Uh, there's the gargoyle song. They're trying to give 
The gargoyles were really cool. They had these puppets that the gargoyles played as. That the actors just got and they moved the puppets around. It was really cool. Um, they find, you know, Esmeralda is hidden. They find her. Phoebus gets stabbed in this one. Instead of shot. Or maybe he gets stabbed. I don't remember. He gets hurt, wounded, like, in the... He gets stabbed in this version. Maybe he did in the movie. I can't remember. But... Ugh, wrong way again. Um... He gets stabbed and then, you know, taken to Quasimodo. They have that whole scene and they go and find Esmeralda. And they sing a song called In the Court of Miracles. And, like, the, the rest of the show, it's a beautiful song. And that, this whole song was right next to us on the stage. And it was so cool. And then they all get arrested and... If, I don't know how many, guys, how much you guys know about um, the deleted songs from Hunchback, but there's one called Someday. You can hear it in the credits from the movie. It that song is my favorite. The message is just beautiful. For the whole, the, it, it's such a great song. Unfortunately, we had some kids behind us talking through the song. I was like, really? Anyway, um, then Esmeralda goes to the pyre and she actually dies in this version like she does in the book. And I was really sad. I was like, I was hoping like maybe they rewrote it so that she survived. Let her survive. I hate it when characters die. I know it's important to the story. And as a writer, as an author myself, I understand that you need to kill off characters sometimes for the story to really be impactful. Even if it's hard and sad. And, uh, it says at the end of it that they found Quasimodo's skeleton holding Esmeralda and when they try to pry him apart, he turned to dust. It was such a good show. I like this one way better than Tarzan. Uh, Tarzan cast was amazing. That's not why I didn't like it. I didn't like the show because I didn't like the show itself, not the actors. The actors for Tarzan were just phenomenal. Um, you can watch my other video to see my review of Tarzan. I forgot to mention that Tarzan ends on October 21st. This one ends on October 20th. Um, so if you want to catch it, you're going to have to go sooner than later. But you have to talk over. Gosh, I am not doing good. Where's my summon? Yeah, that is Hunchback Notre Dame, and I highly, highly recommend Thanks for watching. Bye.